All right, let's see here. Should I? No, I guess it's. Oh, we're already gonna be like that today, huh? Okay. All right, let's go ahead and share this out. Well, that's already on the group, so we can go ahead and get YouTube. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. What's up? What's up? Today we are going to be unboxing the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. Oh, Cass is live too? Cool. Well, I hope to finish this and then we can uh, we can join that. So, hello, hello. If you guys can, share it out. Share it out on your Facebook, whatever, you know, share it. I'm also live streaming. Thank you for that. Um, I'm also live streaming on multiple platforms. So people who are watching me, we're on TikTok, we're on Twitch, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on my Facebook page, um, and we are also on YouTube. So what's happening? How is everybody? All right. Yes, if you guys can, share it out. That's great. If not, it's not the end of the world. doesn't really matter. How's the basement? Everything is working good. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Thursday or Friday, I forget what day it was, uh, I basically blew out the receptacle on my main everything. Um, it's what runs my printers, my computers, everything. Um, it just blew up. And I found the culprit of it. Uh, there was a piece of aluminum wire um, that was in line of the, the run, and uh, since I was going to be replacing everything anyway, I just decided to replace it and call it a day. I up the receptacles to a better receptacle as well. Um, they take a little bit more amperage. Uh, so if I want to upgrade the power to it, it'll allow me to. And um, all new wiring and everything. Uh, it's actually grounded sockets now um, because, you know, my house... My townhouse was built in the 50s, so grounds weren't a thing back then. Um, so yeah, now uh, now they definitely are. So let me uh, let me post this up in the Facebook groups, and um, we'll get this uh, show on the road. Let's give me like. Two minutes. We'll let everybody flow in here. There's a bunch of people on TikTok already. So that's cool. I'm sure these posts will get removed anyways. Uh, no promotion or spam. Good more than take. Ah, I hate that. I really, really. I despise. I don't despise the way that the meaning of that, but the way that it's said. Like, give more than, than you take. Well, that that's literally everybody. So. Sorry, I'm not checking chat here. You guys got to just give me a second. So. Um, should be a really short live. Let's see. Um, shared you everywhere awesome thank you warehouse going out of sale is getting industrial shelves for 40 dollars. awesome first tip for the carbon get the cardboard box with extra long allen key okay nice chase sounds like you need a sub panel in your print room yeah i think the x1c is my next buy Sorry, I got my new phone is texting is weird understandable uh are you ready for the bamboo royalty Yes, I am. All right, so time for the X1 Carbon, baby. Uh, looks like StreamYards. Yes, it is. Um, hello, hello. Sorry, I don't see everybody's name because you're on my group. And something with StreamYard, you have to, like, allow it on the group. And it's just a pain. So I'm just going to see what your names are. So um, can't wait to hear what you have to say about it. The X1C been saving up to get one. So I dropped a pretty penny on this package. So essentially, we got the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon um, combo. 
plus we got another AMS. Uh, so there's two AMSs total. Uh, and then a box of parts and um, two spools of filament. Obviously, we got black and red because, you know, why not? So what's up, Justin? How's it going? Working hard or hardly working? Well, today I'm, uh, well, I'm going to bamboo, so uh, it'll be hardly working. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's bring this down. Let's put that down, and that way we can see everything. What's up? What's up? Uh, what's the blue bag bottle? So this is uh, three DRS resin. So for those who are wondering, so uh, this is a company that's local to me. Uh, they produce 3D resin solution resins, um, and they have a whole slew of different resins. And they're probably, in my opinion, far superior than you know the cheap resins that you'll usually see. All the ones that are above here that you guys. Well, if you're not in TikTok land, you don't really see. But, yeah, essentially, um, yeah, you, they're really, really nice resins. So, <laughs> um, where is all these comments? I want to see. Okay, there we go. Now I can see everything. Uh, yes, I use StreamYards for everything. Good evening, Deborah. How's it going? Would it be nice to see the fastest printer challenge? So I'm actually going to do that. So as you guys know, we unboxed the V400, and it's been kind of a little bit of a roller coaster ride. And it's not terrible, but it's just been a little frustrating here and there to, to work with it. Now, granted, I'm not using it Wi-Fi or anything like that. So the USB drive tends to just work whenever it wants to or at least register so I've been having some issues with that. Um, I thought I was having issues with the filaments. It's not because it printed perfectly fine on the Viper back there. So I know it's not that. Yeah, so I, I just have to do it. I do not have an affiliate link, but I will talk to them about it. If you are going to use an affiliate link and you are going to get one right away, um, I do suggest checking out Sam Prentice. He does have an affiliate link. He is a very good friend of mine. Um, I know he's got an affiliate link. So if you are going to use one, Please give him some kickback if you are. Uh, if not, then just buy it outright. That's completely up to you. Um, you know, I can only tell you that, you know, he's as good as he says he is. And uh, you guys take it from there. You know, everybody has their own opinions on everybody. Not everybody likes me. A lot of people like other people. So it is. Hello, been interested in the bamboo. Yeah. Uh, I saw one of the 3DRS Facebook um, bags. Oh, are you talking about the 3DRS resin? Sorry. Um, but I still have more bamboos. Yes, you do. Canadian milk. Yep. Hub's out of stock though. Oh yeah. So I, I did get a hub. So, cause obviously I got two secondary ones. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to put on my Logitech camera here and I do have the, uh, the fisheye lens here. So hopefully the, uh, the autofocus doesn't, uh, destroy itself trying to autofocus constantly but uh yeah let's uh let's get into this and hopefully it's a quick stream so first and foremost before we do anything we got to remove my tried and true trusty printer which is the any cubic viper so let's go ahead and do that really quick before we do anything with this because i need i essentially need a spot for this printer so it's already unplugged we're good to go just going to move it out of the way for the time being. Done. So, first and foremost, we're going to take the printer out of the box. And hopefully, everything's okay. Because I did miss um, the initial delivery of this. This was actually supposed to be here uh, Saturday. But I was out at the time that UPS showed up. And I was like, dang it needs the signature and I wasn't there so oh well just had to wait till Monday for it to get here so it arrived Monday and now we're all good by the way as I usually say safety first when you guys are cutting always cut away from you never ever cut towards you no matter what you're using no matter how professional you think always cut away and when you're done Make sure that you close it up. That's your safety tip of the week. 
Yes, bye bye Viper. Yeah, it's it's kind of a sad day because the Vipers actually, at least my Viper has been an amazing machine so far. So. Got to get all that peasant filament out of there. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and open up this bad boy and see what we got. Okay, so we have very, very nice packaging. We have some foam inserts here on the corners. Off to the side. We have some nice bubble wrap over the top to protect the glass casing on it. Why do I have a feeling I'm missing an AMS? Because I am missing an AMS. Because this doesn't have an AMS in it. This is just a machine. So now I gotta check. Let's pause this for one second here while I look at my order and make sure I didn't do an, an oopsie and order just a X1 carbon. I'm pretty sure I didn't. It's in the printer. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Well, I'm not losing my mind then because I thought I was losing my mind there for a second. It's inside. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's try and get this out in one, one fell swoop. Push it out of camera angle here. Oh, wow. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I got some filament here. And it's not like, well, I guess they are small. So I got a spool of green test filament, it looks like, PLA Basic. I like these spools. I like how these look. These look really nice. So we got a test spool of that. We have some PLA carbon fiber. Like what? They include carbon fiber with this? Say what? Like granted, it's only a, a quarter of a kilogram, but still, that's awesome. And then we have support for PLA. So this is the support W that everybody talks about, which as far as from what I've heard, it's basically just PTG. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't really, I'm not really a uh, filament guy, so I don't know too much about that. And yes, I'll make sure to save the box. Don't worry about it. Uh, spools are reusable too. Yes, I know about that one at least. Hey, Macker, congrats on coming to the dark side. No worries. Um... I see AMS on the second box. Yes, we do. No, it's inside the printer. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, got this unboxed. Let's get this all open. All right, guys. That's the end of the stream. No. <laughs> Pretty much. It actually doesn't take up as much as I thought it would. I thought that was much taller. case. All right, so we have strapped to the top here, we have the uh, Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon Combo Quick Start Guide. Oh, I love this tape. We have the same tape at work. It annoys me so much but it is very good for packaging and keeping things in its place. I hate it because, well, I don't have, um, I don't have, I don't have nails to, uh, to take care of it. Here, should we take this off? So that way you guys get it closer. There we go. That's
Sorry, I'm not reading chat. I don't have a moderator or anything. My apologies. So, so far, very, very nice packaging. I'm, uh, I'm really liking how they package this thing. And I am, uh, I'm very impressed that they can get this to a customer in such a short amount of time. Ah, okay. Thank you, Gemini. I will, uh, I will take a look at that and see what's going on. All right. Okay, so I see. I see. I see. So I see. I see. So yes, the AMS is packed in here, so we're going to take this and bring it back down on the ground as suggested. Take out all the packaging. So yeah, they, they insanely pack this. Uh, looks like we have a box full of... Uh, looks like an extruder here, but basically parts. We'll take a look at that in a second here. Here's our AMS. Without breaking anything, hopefully. It's strapped in here. Seems like it's strapped in. It's strapped in somehow. Holy! Man, I can't really take a message right now. Need to unscrew it. I, I see the screw. That's, that's why I grabbed this, because I was going to make sure that that's exactly what was going on. So, um, yeah, it actually does not tell you that you need to unscrew it, does it? Take out take out the accessory box. And, oh, so that's what somebody said about the Allen key. I, didn't, I did not uh, comprehend that. Somebody had told me that earlier in the live stream, and I just it didn't didn't register. What's up, Virgil? What's up, man? How's it going, guys? I uh, love mine. Good to hear. That's what I keep hearing about everybody's. Is there an AMS inside? You're going to have to pull it out in the ground. Yeah. So um, how long did it take for you to get yours? So I ordered this at about 2 in the morning on Tuesday. So it was Tuesday early morning, and it was going to be here by Saturday. Now the parts were a little bit longer. They they came today. So All right. So we have our screen. We have our box of stuff. We have the Allen keys. We have our power supply, our USBs, for our cables and everything. We have the infamous Bamboo Labs glue stick, which I'll be honest, I'm probably going to try and utilize this instead. Because this has always been my go-to if I use any adhesion. I was never a big fan of glue because when I use it, it leaves dips. It's like a um, like landscape. So it's it's basically what it does. So I never really liked it. All right, let's take this all out. I don't know what that is, but we'll take a look and see what it is. Keep that just in case. Sorry, let's uh, let's check chat here for a quick second. Uh, it's anti-glue, yes, gotcha. What's up, Cookie Cat? How's it going? Welcome to the party. What is this uh, FDM thing of a power? So we're actually live streaming on multiple platforms right now. So we're on YouTube, we're on Twitch, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um, well, actually, we're on three types of Facebook. So we're on my personal page, we're on the Akuma Mods page, and we're on my group. So, um, all right. So basically out the front here, some screws. That 
it's kind of nifty that they designed that to all like fit in there all nice and neat. What's up, Cairo? How's it going? Ah, reverse camera breaking my mind. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. That's the front forward uh, front forward camera shenanigans. They have a liquid glue now as well. Yes, and I, I heard that that wasn't as good as the, um, the glue that's here. Wow, that is insanely light. For some reason, I thought this was like much bigger and much bulkier, but it probably weighs like as much as maybe as two spools of filament, give or take. Seems about right. By the way, I hope my audio and everything is going good. I know the TikTok land, I can't really see up close, but everybody here can see up close. Let's see what's going on here. So now I'll take this, put it back up here as I just move my camera, put it back up. Did you see that there's some desiccant packs in here? Um, where can we put you guys? It's a little bit better of a view. I mean, that's really the best, it's the best angle, unfortunately. So, if you guys are unboxing, just make sure that you are going through your manual and going through everything. So, now we're going to take the Allen key, and everything is labeled inside here with these little, like, red arrows. So, it tells you everywhere that you basically need to unbolt this, which I can't really see because I don't have lighting here. But, ta-da, to the rescue. We have a lighted enclosure. <laughs> Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom uh, shelf here some, somewhere, somehow, inside of this, so we can hold the AMS units. I haven't really figured out how, but we'll get to that point at some, some point. I'm sure you guys are just enjoying watching this. You know, should I move the, the camera over on the, the YouTube? I think that'll be better for you guys. Let me do that right quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. That way you guys can see. Um, let's see here. Uh, sounds good. In the manual, I will tell you there are three screws to be removed. Leave the bottom foam in place. Until its first calibration is done. So do the bamboo filament have NFC chips for the AMS? I hear something about that. I was not sure if it was true. Yes, I believe these do have NFC chips. I have heard that as well. Um, I don't see it here, but I could... Oh, no. There is an NFC tag. There is one. Hidden right there. For the go those who are wondering. So, yes, there is an NFC tag. Um... RFID and not NFC. Sorry. Same same difference. Same thing. Different stuff. What's up, Ben? How's it going, man? All right. So we have all that. 
So now we can lift this out. I think, I think we got everything. It's a nice thick piece of plastic. So we do have, uh, looks like two extra sheets here. Uh, these are the PLA sheets. I did order a PEI sheet because I personally am a, uh, am a PEI person, but I've heard kind of mixed reviews about it. So I'm not 100% sure if we'll stick with that. We are gonna try these plates out and see, but I, I definitely wanna take uh, some testing with the uh, the PEI sheet because I like the texture PEI kind of like how my uh, any cubic viper had it. So, all right. So now we remove the screws, take out the AMS and the cushioning, um, remove the cardboard from the tool head and the foam from the access sheet. All right. So that's gone. And. like um that head is insanely easy to maintain already i can tell wow that's really crazy my light's flickering out because the camera is catching it so it bothers me the streams flipped at the moment so the door and screen are on the wrong side i don't know if i can fix that unfortunately oh wait i can aha boom done now you guys are the same on TikTok land as you are in YouTube land and everything else. So there you go. Is that better for y'all? Everybody's not mirrored imaging. It's a little weird, but hey, it'll be all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just advertised for a, a Twitch channel before reading the rules. Deleted the post. So sorry for not reading the rules. Before. Uh, sorry, I don't know who that was. Quick second here. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it, it's no worries, man. It's not the end of the world. We're just gonna we're gonna end up removing stuff like that on the group. Sorry, um, we're we're not here to like promote stuff like that. It's just more or less like we we prefer people doing one on one type things. Uh, as much as I know a video is gonna tell somebody a million times better in some ways, like I am a visual person, um, but. The problem is, is then it becomes a little bit spammy and then everybody's like, well, watch this video, watch that video. And there's no actual true tangible like stuff going around. So what is the group? I, if I made the group to have channels and stuff like that go to other places, I would just put it in the headlines and be like, hey, just check out these channels and check out that. And that's all you would need. You wouldn't really need a group for anything. So I'm not I'm not trying to dog on anybody or anything like that. It's just kind of pointless so uh the printer is good i have one but it's different for other people i uh so i kind of hear that from time to time so all right so we are removing that we remove the ams cushioning uh now we need to assemble with the ams system and get this all situated so let's take this close this up We'll take this out of its packaging because the AMS essentially sits on the top of this. This is a royal pain to, to get this off here. Like it should just be easy to take off, but it's, it's not. At least this one isn't. It's just ripping. I don't want to. I don't want to drop it. That would be the worst thing ever. Oh my God! This is going to trigger me so bad because I know I'm going to be messing with resin and messing with this, and this thing's going to get so dirty, and I'm just going to be like, "Oh man!" So, just a pro tip for anybody that's getting an enclosed printer. Now, I don't know how this printer acts, but at least in the past, if you're printing with PLA and you're having issues, 
open up the doors, open up the top at least, at the very least. Because what happens is PLA is very sensitive to heat. So when you have heat running in an enclosed chamber, it is essentially having that chambered heat as well. So you are essentially heating the chamber and you're melting the plastic even further. So I don't, again, I don't know how this machine does it, but the class explodes. Yeah, I definitely don't. Nope, they seal them because it will ruin uh, the printer if it breaks in transit. Yep. Uh, there's a five gallon can at the paint store. I've been trying to talk them out of it. Hey, EB, how's it going? All right. So let's uh, turn this piece around. Probably going to have to take the light off here. This light is awesome, but it's annoying because you got to go through like 10 settings to turn it off. Um, but it's, yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. All right. So let's get this all set up. And all right. That's all fixed. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it came with a hub right out of the box. I was like, what? We're probably going to set up the AMS hub later because... Like I said, I need to build some sort of a shelving unit here to, to get it all situated. Um, so that way I can have something to hold the shelves on. Or I'll I'll move the, well, no, I can't really move the resin. So those are, there's not enough room for the AMS to sit up there. So I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll put it down here and I'll put the AMS units up here. Something like that it might be easier. So this is Maker Christmas. Uh, stock bed doesn't heat up while printing PLA. Okay, so that's good. That's good. So that's how they got around from that because that was one of the things that always worried me and I wasn't 100% sure because, you know, you talk to people and, and telling them that, yeah, you don't need a heated bed for PLA is just like, what? Like, mind blown. Like, yeah, you don't need it. It's not necessary. I mean, it helps with adhesion. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's not necessary. So, all right. So we have a four pin and we have a six pin. So the four pin. I kind of like this whole integrated system type thing. It's really, really cool. Uh, the cable six pin can be programmed into either interface. I was curious, is that that for like daisy chain? So it might make it easier just to do it on one side. I don't know. I don't know. I just work here. What do I know? All right. So that plugs into the hub system. This has to come off of here. That goes there. That gets plugged into there because we don't want it under the electrical because we want to have easy access to it. And then we plug it in the four port. All right, everything's plugged in there. So this is the smallest like starter guide I've ever seen. It's insane. It's literally like 20 pages, not even 20 pages. Should I get a bamboo or are they working on a new printer? Or should I wait for it? You know what? Even if they are, I'm sure it's just going to be like most of the good printers. You will be able to, to sell it. So in my opinion, go for it because if they make a new one. So he, here's how I look at it. Okay. If you buy this one, and a new one comes out and you are getting great results with this, you're probably going to end up purchasing the bigger one regardless. And you're going to have two. Now, even down the road, you're going to be able to sell this at a lower price and somebody's going to pick it up because you can't. It's as simple as that. So you're going to get your money's worth out of it regardless. So that's how I see it kind of if I ever need to. Uh, need a dedicated studio soon. Yeah, pretty much. Uh it's going to be a crazy, fu crazy fun to play with. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping in, Tacti. 
All right. Uh, remove the screw as pictured with the Allen key H2. Is that the same one I've been using? Yeah. So we need to scroll folder assembly. Well, well, we don't really need that. We're not going to use the spool holder, so I don't really need to put that on. We're going to skip that. So just FYI, on the back here, it does say that um, there is a uh, there's a screw here, and then there's a secondary screw hole. It, it basically tells you what it's for right there, and it's a singular spool holder. We're not going to need that. We have an AMS system. I'm not going to need to set it up, and even if I did, I have something that will that'll plug that on, so. I'd want to use it sometimes. All right, fine. We'll, we'll put it on just for the hell of it. Then. It's great. Forget about it. I mean, it probably doesn't stick out that far. Oh, God. There's Creality. Now, that screw's in there pretty tight. So, just be... Uh, just be aware, you will have to use the other end of the wrench to, to loosen it up or to break it loose to get at it. We have our little little baggies and stuff. Oh, wait. This is probably not. Should have just put my notifications on silent. Everybody and their brother. So it looks like they give you two new ones. Did I unscrew the wrong thing? No. And that's your bit. this thermal grease oh that's nice that's a nice addition a lot of people don't know about thermal grease so what this just basically goes on like that why does this not fit oh because i'm doing it the wrong way da, 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 da. first pool holder so then basically you just have an extra screw we got some screws loose. We'll keep these with it in case we need it. <laughs> Bring Ben in. I mean, it, this isn't my first rodeo uh, unboxing and setting up a printer. It's just there's some things that I don't think I'll use. I'll put it on just to, to um, appease the class. Or for all intents and purposes. I will say they've really thought of literally everything when building this, this printer to make it as easy as possible. I do enjoy that very, very much. Because after building printers over and over and over again, at this point, a couple hundred printers at least. Shoot, I used to have a print farm of 50 Ender 3. So, I mean, putting those things together, I'm done. Uh, can't wait to hear the noise. Uh, if you plan to use TPU, you will you need the single spool holder. Yes, I know about that. And I know exactly why. Because the, dia the inner diameter of the PTFE tubes are larger to allow a smoother transition for the AMS to flow it uh, in and out. So that's why TPU does not work with it, uh, because it'll bind up in the PTFE tube. So I grew up using bamboo printers. Make sure you save your warranty box. Absolutely. Don't forget Gemini adapter for your cardboard spools. Yes. So I was going to print that on the FL Sun V400. And that was when my power just decided to blow up the entire thing. And yeah, that's basically where we're at. So yesterday I put everything together and I was just, I was, I was mentally done with yesterday and this weekend. So uh, yeah, so it's kind of a good refresher here. Uh, remove the three screws with an Allen key H2. So let's turn this back around. And I think I see that. So it is one, two, and three. I did see that earlier. Thank you. 
to unlock the hotbed. One thing I don't like is that they have it right up against the Z lead screw, and my fingers are all greasy now because I have fat American hands. So, because I love my cheese baggers, mate. Is he right? Is he right? Now the cool thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna do a face off, we're gonna do a print off against the V four hundred and this thing. It's all the dumplings. Well, what funny you say that because that's what I had for lunch. Any cubic Cobra two arrived today? So far, not a bad bed slinger. Little tuning and should be good. It's glad to hear my uh, my Viper has served me well for the past year so far. So. Uh, let's see here. I saw a quick and dirty fix for cardboard spools, some tape along the edges. Yep, I saw that too. Matt, do you already have a bamboo or is this the beginning of your bamboo life? This is the beginning. So Tuesday at, uh, at about two o'clock in the morning, we were on a live stream on TikTok. And uh, I was basically saying, yeah, I think I'm just going to wait and, you know, kind of get it for a birthday present uh, in August. And uh, everybody's like, nah, just get it now. And I'm like, yeah, I probably could, uh, but I probably shouldn't to ask her. We, we got it. So my budget was 2,500 bucks, everything all together. It's uh, the combo, an extra AMS, two spools of filament, some hot end stuff, some PTFE tubes, some miscellaneous parts. Everything with shipping and taxes came to about 2,300. So we were a little bit under budget. So that's pretty good. That's that means that I can still spend a little bit, go a little bit over budget, and get another AMS if I want to. But I think I think eight colors will be good enough for me, uh, just to start with, because the painting is what's going to kill me. Um, I'm just gonna be, be at work like painting, then doing my work and painting. So, all right. Uh, so now we need to. Get the screen ready. Let's uh, pull the flexible piece here. Be very careful when you are pulling this because it is a ribbon connector and these things can be very, uh, very uh, fragile. Glad it wasn't just me. Yeah. And run eight on both and hook them all up to one for 16. Yeah, and you know, I was kind of talking about that because my original plan was just to go all out and get 16 colors and call it a day. Um, but I, I just realized I'm like, I have yet to see anybody consistently utilizing 16 colors, eight colors, seven at the most is what I normally see. So I was like, you know what, we'll uh, we'll just do that and and go with eight colors, I think that'll be more than enough. And if I need to add more, it's just a click of a button. So at least this print, printer exists, unlike the Kakona Soto. Oh, God, that's that's a whole other disaster that's going on. So, so let's see here. So it says we can pull this out. All right, that's cool. That's good that they give you a little bit of leeway with it terrible with connections, so it'll be fun. How the hell are we connecting this? Ah, there we all good. Connect the clips in there. Good to go. All set. Ready to rock and roll. 
slide it in, snap it in, printer binding. Okay, download your Bamboo Handy app. Interesting. I did not know there was an app. I had not heard anybody talk about that. Uh, let's see here. It makes it slow. I wish there was a way that I can slow down the um, the chat on TikTok here. Unbox and assembly is pretty straightforward. It absolutely is. Yes, 100%. So. All right. So basically, we are done. That's it. So now it just tells you to download the um, all the printer stuff and load up your stuff, slicers, beds, what have you. So let's, uh, you know, one step they did not have is to plug in the printer. Not that, you know, that isn't something that a normal person wouldn't do, but yeah, they don't, uh, they do not say to plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. So I have a plug back here already. It is a heavy duty plug. And we have power. Now we can slide this bed boy out. basically tells you glue stick for build plate warning users must use the glue stick to apply adhesive to the build surface before the first print otherwise the print may adhere too strongly to the fresh build plate and can cause damage to the plate when removing the finished model from the build plate wow that's a lot of like what do they call that redundancies plate and build plate and build build and plate anyway uh so there are some other things in here there is a uh silicate uh pack that's in here so for any of you guys know uh or do not know they do sell these obviously on amazon but there are supposedly reusable ones so essentially like you wash them dry them out or something like that i i forgot exactly what you do but you can buy like bottles of them that are reusable so that's really really nice if you need to use it uh, we're not going to be printing with anything super crazy at the moment i don't even think i have any ads or or anything like that so all right so we're gonna do simple setup English we're gonna do next uh, we're gonna hook up to the Wi-Fi that's funny because it literally lists every piece of Wi-Fi Probably been a really really nice unboxing for the most part. I'm uh, I'm quite impressed. Now we're probably going to have to move this over because I have my uh, my support beam here that's in the way of the AMS. So eleven AMS units. Why? What, will you print with forty four colors? Yeah. Uh, they added a skip function now. Yes, they did. Yes, yes. So we are connected. Now we're good. Uh, scan the QR code to log into the printer. Glad that it's telling me that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our QR. Not that I probably need to do this, but accept download app. Install.
Z Crystal. That's that's how you download things. Seventy three megabytes in less than two seconds. Agree. Wow. Yes, you guys can spy on me. Okay. No device handle. Let's try this again. Confirm to bind. Yes. Status error. Awesome. I wonder if this is still having issues and it'll need an update. We might have to skip this part and come back around. I'm not really worried about it. I'll probably very rarely use the app. It's just to check on things. But I've heard several people say that there's an issue with it. So make sure Bluetooth and location is on. It's always on. The colors is plenty per unit. That's that's exactly my thought. Like just thinking about it, like the, the thought of having a 16 colors readily available is awesome, but I think it's overkill. Um, but if I need to, you know, down the road, we'll we'll get it. So yeah, something's something's not working with that. So we'll look into that later. So we're gonna skip. We're gonna agree to all the terms. We're gonna join. So you can see everything on my network. Now we're gonna do calibration. The printer needs to calibrate for the first time. So let's um, Uh, calibrate may take several minutes. That's what we're doing. All right, so we're homing right now. Everything's good. This piece out, this piece out, and we're going to take this piece out. So one of my concerns that I had with this printer, um, and pretty much any printer that has a flex plate, is there's nothing that stops it from going back. It's a pain in the ass to line up a flex plate. That is my biggest gripe about that. Thankfully... Bamboo has thought of this and put on little stoppers in the back corners. So not only does it line it up, it lines it up true square. So it's not like you're trying to find something and it just stops the back end and you still have to line up the sides. No, they actually thought about it and put two L brackets on the back side. So that's really nice. Let's say I've had a 98 to 99% success rate. So let's go ahead and open up this filament and we'll get this all ready to rock and roll so we can get it going. Oh, really? Still messed it up. That is insanely loud. saw the video and the link awesome i hope i had the cash to get with get it that's awesome i printed 1700 multicolor prints in two and a half weeks on two printers back in october that's insane that's a lot of color I don't know if I like this hinge or not. Like, it's nice, but it's it seems a little too stiff for my liking. I don't know. Maybe it'll loosen up over time. But yeah. Good. Sweeping 
XY mech mode. And people say the old FT5 is loud. Man, I remember when that was the talk of the town. The Fogel Tech FT5 and the FT6 were like the best bang for your buck. Huge printers. Like they're still pretty big printers, but I just, after 2019, they just went away. Nobody ever talked about them ever again. And they were, they were huge printers. Very odd sizing, but big. Uh, what that FT6 was like 600 by a thousand by 400 or something, a really weird one. <laughs> Two plates, both were my fault. Ah, uh -huh. I should have gotten a P1P instead of the X1. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't really know about that. I'm not saying that you know the P1P is bad, but I've heard a lot of negative than I have positive with the P1P. Um, I'm sure Cold Star Forge will jump in here and be like, I haven't had anything wrong with my, you know, a thousand printers that I have of P1Ps. Yes, we all know this. Um, but, you know, we're talking about people that actually use the machine, not just print dragons. <laughs> ah! um, no, so. Um, yeah, I've, I've heard a little bit more negative, but I'm not saying that the Creality K1 hasn't had a lot of negative review uh, since it's been released. And I've seen the K1 and the K1 Max personally. And the K1 has a lot more issues than the K1 Max does. So, um, yeah, that wasn't too too good to see that. All right. So we're all calibrated here. Um, now we can start printing. Now, is there preloaded files on here? Let's see. Or is preloaded? That's right, because they got the cool scrapers on here. All right, so first off, I need to move this over. Because I need to get to the AMS. Leave that down there. Um, so this does come with extra parts, screws for the extruder. Everything is properly labeled on the bag for you guys to see. So that's really, really nice that they label all these little things for you. So in case you lose anything, you need anything, it's all there. It's fantastic. Um, we do have a couple Allen, Allen keys. Uh, those have a nozzle unclogger. It's a very small uh, nozzle unclogger, but it is what it is. I'm guessing this is the disclaimer and safety guidelines. Okay. Now what is this? This looks like an extra hot end. Do, 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 do. That is insanely small. That's what she said. Ah, it's average. It's average. That's, that's, yeah. I, I expected that to be different. But it's all good. All right. So, let's uh, move this over. There we go. That's a little bit better. Actually, move this over. Maybe we'll, we'll put the monkey in the middle, so it'll be the odd man out. <laughs> we'll put the Mega over here. We'll put the, the M3 Max over there. And then we'll put the Bamboo Labs right in the center and just be like, wait a minute, that isn't a resin printer. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get the, uh, the color in here. Isn't this supposed to like automatically grab it or something? Or am I just special? Yep, there it is. There it is. There we go. Simple enough. So it recognizes that as PLA. And 
and we're all good on that. So let's do. Let's do a Benchy. Should we? Yeah, I think film sticking texture. Okay. I do like that. That is uh, both good. Um, so yeah, let's do a Benchy. And uh, we have to, where's the different modes on here? Utilities, print options, auto recovery from stop loss, yes, cash cloud. No, we're not going to do that. Do stick to the bed, yes, I'm aware. But I wanted to see what the, the mode is. Temperature, axis. Here's the modes on this general. So we have video. Unable to open without a micro SD card, really. So that's cool that they get, allow you to change the resolution. So if you have a lower internet connection, <coughs> Crystal, <laughs> um, you can uh, you can change it. So we're gonna have to actually you know what I think I have a brand new SD card we can throw in here if we need to. Um, carbon rod clearance, lead screw, lubrication, hardened steel nozzle. So that's nice. It gives you all the information on it. So let's, um, can we move this down? Uh, let's see. Wow, that is really, really fast and smooth. Now, what did I do with the, uh, the lovely glue stick? Because, you know, why not? I lose something. All right, let's check chat here really quick. Uh, resolution has nothing to do with internet connection. Uh, well, I mean, it'll take up a certain amount of bandwidth, I would think. At least that's what, like, StreamYards does, so. God, I hate using glue. I really do. I really, really despise it. It's like one of my biggest things that I'm not a big fan of. How long would it take to print a Benchy with speed resin, including post-processing? Uh, I think it's like 20 minutes, the fastest I printed one at a stock height. But that's on my speed settings, or you'll never get the print off. Yeah. All I use is hairspray. That's good to know because... Uh, I did stock up on uh, on hairspray, so we're good to go. That's that's my choice, but we'll go with what they suggest. We'll go from there. Not the end of the world. But my my question is, okay, so I can print now, but where is the settings for so that's a self test uh, for the speeds? Well, that's cool that it does the information there okay well either way we'll just um we'll just print it we'll print a benchy i rarely print benchies but what the hell print options no utilities up right now we're heating the bed that is really slow that is a slow bed <laughs> hit print first then settings okay you want light on lights on nobody's home preheating okay now we got now we got the hot end going 
It says that it's at 17% already. What the hell was that? Oh. It's first time using this. I heard like something drop and I'm like, what was that? It's the, the ticker thing at the back for the poop. Oh, that's right. It's not. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to print a, a poop shoot here soon enough. Jesus, what is this printing at? Two twenty five, two thirty. What the hell, Bobby? Why are you printing so hot? Why is it printing PLA at 250? Is it because of steel nozzle? That shouldn't be. That's too high. Okay, there we go. Now it goes back down. That's weird. So in all reality, most of the time is taken out doing all the calibration crap. Uh, you got a poop bucket that? No, I have not. Um, it's just a purge cleaning the nozzle. Yep, it's like PLA. Well done. <laughs> Don't touch the temps. Ever trust the process that calibrates flow rates at the start. Right, right. It's just that's that's a little that's a little heavy for me. Like seeing that temperature, that's that's a high temp, but it is back down to two hundred, so it's good. It's all good. What the hell are you doing? Oh, it's doing the input shaping. I gotta get used to that because that's just that's weird hearing that. Like where it wipes. It's it's very it's a very noticeable sound. Calibrating. Good lord, that was fast as fuck. It's fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> because of high flow rate, maybe? I don't know. It's comforting. I can sleep without it now. Well, good thing this is in a basement, so I don't really hear anything. Good adhesion. Good to hear. Wait till it prints. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm waiting for. So right now, it's just doing auto leveling. It does proper, even better auto leveling than most. So you know you have a bad auto leveling if it only does one touch point. So that means it touches, it goes back, moves to the next point, it touches. That should never happen. That's a bad auto bed leveling system. Get rid of it. A good auto bed leveling system should touch twice. So it should go down. Then pick up, then go down again for a secondary reading because it'll it'll do the deviation between those two readings. Um, secondly, a bed should always be hot when you are leveling it. Um, this is a little different because this is PLA, so it doesn't really need it. Uh, but most of the time, the bed should be hot while it's leveling. Um, so, like if I was doing probably the carbon fiber nylon or the um, well, maybe not the carbon fiber that should be okay too, but PETG and stuff like that. That should do it. But this does three times for leveling. So it does one, two, three touch. So it'll, it does insane calibration. Da Vinci Resolve. Yeah. Uh, so Matt, anything, doing anything a month from now? Um, I mean, I'm going to, to Murph. Um, that's about it at the end of the month. And, uh, Still going through some stuff. Uh, I will actually be 
uh, possibly hosting uh, with uh, with Creality. So that'll be an interesting thing, considering I just bought this, and uh, I'm trying real hard to get in their hands with uh, the K1 Max. Uh, there is one local here. I know there is, uh, but uh, I don't know if they're going to give that one up. One, the one that I saw at the show. Sweeping XY mech mode. So it's basically doing the same thing as calibrating. Does it do this every single time? I'm just curious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my favorite. It's funny because they're, they're like, "Hey, can you say some nice words and things like that?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't really like to like tout about people, but I can't really say, I can't say that they they are bad. You know, everybody's used them. Everybody started with with the Creality or has had a Creality in their hands at some point. I would say 98 percent of the people have. Let's just call it that. Um, have done it. So." is awesome so now it's doing the uh input shaping not input shaping extrusion molt no damn it what the hell is that called where it does the it purges the line to tell you what's the best line to print at um god i forget the name of it it's not input shaping is it LIDAR. No, it's not LIDAR. It's a, It's got a specific name. Um, flow rate. There you go. Flow rate. There you go. So it basically tells the printer how good it should be doing that. And if it, it automatically calibrates that right on the fly, that's awesome. Because as far as I know, when, when I started learning about that flow calibration stuff, is you would do the flow calibration, then you would enter it into your extruder. And that would basically tell the extruder, hey, this is what you're supposed to be extruding, not using um, your, uh, did you calibrate your, your extruder type thing, you know, they, they kind of did everything for you already. Right? Oh, this looks like a disaster already. All right, this is insanely fast. So it's inspecting the first layer. Please wait a moment. Possible first layer defects have been detected. Please check the first layer quality and decide if the job should be stopped. It definitely should be stopped. The question is how to freaking stop it. button that says stop. Yeah, we're going to stop that. Yes. So that looks like shit. Did you glue it? Yes, I did. Don't use the texture plate. I didn't. I haven't even opened it yet. I bet his and mine were the same shipment. Probably. So here, let's, uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's, that's no bueno. But it was going insanely fast, so this is like in ludicrous mode, I guess. So how do you guys change the modes? I don't see where that's at. I'm having second thoughts. Any chance to move the camera anywhere closer? Yes, I can. Um, at least I thought I could. You know what? I just realized that I just moved this. I did the whole damn calibration, and I moved it. Son of a... 
So that could be, but I highly doubt that's that's the case. Under temperature. It's under temperature. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna report that. Let's do. like no way to preheat this stuff. I mean, not that it really matters, but. Oh my God, it's so gluey. Where's my scraper? Yeah, that did look no bueno, my friend. That don't look no good. Yeah, that's that's not good. You also haven't updated the printer on the AMS yet. True, I haven't done any of that. lines off of here. What the hell did I do with my screen? No, I had it here. I just had it yesterday. I had to use it. Oh, you know what? I put it in here. There it is. So let's go back into our settings here. The network. We're going to change the network here actually. Not update it directly from here for the firmware. Still not binding. That's the thing. It's it's not um, it's not connecting that bamboo binding to the handy one.
never a dull moment. That's the thing, I can't find a firmware update for it, or like where it is. Maintenance, maybe? Network is good, test network, access only, we're good. So I'm going to uh, recalibrate just to be on the safe side because I did move it. So we're just going to do some simple steps first, and then we'll go from there. Um, what's up, 3D printing? Lego back up. How's it going? Not a movie, but watch the series. It's dark. It's so good. About everything you've known about printing, basically, yeah. So you use the default settings and it failed. Yeah. Okay, that's where I went the last time, but I'll uh, I'll check it out after it does all this. Um, all this stuff. I was hoping this would be kind of quick. That's what she said. But. All right. I'm going to set you guys back up over here. We're going to open up this other stuff to see what's exactly in here. So this does come with extra PTFE tubes, so that's kind of nice. That, I believe, is for the AMS. We're not going to open up the AMS because you guys already know what the AMS is and what it looks like. And it's kind of pointless to open it if we can't get the normal system up and running here. So uh i remember having to turn off and on my bluetooth on my phone in order to be able to bind good call uh sending walkthrough pics thank you gemini i saw those i will uh i will get to them in a second here like the uh the ender 5 experience all over again actually the ender 5 worked right out of the box it was a couple prints later that it just stopped working all right Ooh, wait a minute did they give me an extra roll of filament they totally did so i have pla basic red which that's what i got ah support so they sent me support definitely don't remember ordering that at least i don't think i ordered it and we have black. So we have red, black, and the support material. This is all nicely, nice, neatly packaged. Uh, so this is the AMS hub. We have some extra PTFE tube. We have the uh, extra extruder. Complete hot end assembly that comes with the fan and everything. Uh, we have the PTFE tube connectors. Uh, AMS first stage. I don't know what that is. Something for the AMS, obviously. I don't exactly know what it is. I wasn't aware that Bamboo X1C had Bluetooth. Mine's always turned off on my phone. No, no. So he was saying turn off Bluetooth on the phone because it might mess with the application. So... That's what happens when you order at 2 a.m. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, we have PTFE tube again, uh, AMS PTFE tube. Well, I ordered a lot of PTFE tube. And this is our uh, our dual PEI sided texture plate. So now I can sit down and not be standing because I'm too old for this. Let's take you guys off and bring you with. Ugh. Clear this off and get this all situated. We'll use the uh, the VL four hundred for uh, for viewing pleasures. Shoot all over here. Damn it! I just clean that dust too. Let's put you guys up over here as well. Did I send it to you? No, I'm not that special. I uh, I bought this. My eyes are so pleasured now, what? Because you see this beautiful face, or that it's just weird because you know it's backwards. It's left is right, and right is left. The texture plate is my favorite part to use. Yeah, see, I'm I'm partial to that myself, but uh, I wanted to. I wanted to give it a go and see how it does by itself uh, with all the stuff right out of the box. So, all right. So we're doing auto bed leveling now, uh, and then it's gonna sweep the XY. I keep wanting to say merch mode, but it's mech mode. So it basically goes like. Like that back and forth really quick. The resin god is went to the dark side, yes. Taste of resin at midnight? That's yeah, it's close to midnight. After midnight. God, your glass of coke to help you enjoy. Uh so I, I I've been drinking a lot of soda the last couple of days because I've just been like I have been in such a world of this is disaster type thing. And uh when I when that happens, I binge. Uh, I either binge eat or I binge drink. Not not like alcohol. I don't drink that, but I'll definitely binge drink some some coke. And I went through probably almost half a case of soda, twenty four case, so twelve case in the last like two or three days, which is quite a lot. So it's only drinking water, washable resin, and safe. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so we're recalibrating right now. We're going to take a look at it and see how it goes. You guys, do you guys in YouTube land want a want a larger picture on this? I can blow this picture up if you guys want. It makes it easier. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, whatever. TikTok, you're kind of stuck with my ugly mug, but I can try and blow up this picture a little bit, and get it a little bit bigger for you. Let's uh, let's try that. God, there's like tons, tons of people messaging me why today out of anything. All right, let's see. Screw it. Let's just do full screen. Send it. Turn that off. Boom. There we go. That's better. Not me calculating how much bourbon I need for that much coke. Yeah, that's a lot. But if I actually drank alcohol, I would probably be very poor. <laughs> Complete a calibration. Okay. Now we're gonna go and check uh, firmware here really quick. General. Go to firmware. Now there's 
no like updates or anything that it says. Try something else, maybe with bigger print area. Mini tray. They should. They they don't have like a band uh, a hoop shoe down here. You would think that they would. Wait, what is that? Outer diameter. I don't know if that is the outer limits. <laughs> Uh, someone text him, please. <laughs> it hasn't connected to the internet yet, so it wouldn't see updates. Ah, okay. Well, th this is connected to the internet. I have it connected to my, my Wi-Fi. Unless, like you said, it needs to be through the, the app, which is... Scanning for printers. Oh, that's why I couldn't find me because I wasn't logged in, doofy. Login device successful. Did he not get an update? I'm, I'm looking for it right now. Chill. Chill accent. All right, so now I'm connected. Device is idle. Printer. Okay, auto, cal auto calibration is using. Okay. AMS, me, devices, blah, blah, notifications. System, maintenance notice. Dear customer, in order to provide better performance, our cloud capacity will be upgraded on November 30th. Well, that's definitely way, way past its prime. But thank you for telling me. Okay, so now there is a firmware update. Ta -da -da! Update. Are you sure you want to update? This will take about 10 minutes. Well, I guess everybody's coming along for the ride. <laughs> I should have put that back on the faster internet because apparently you can use the 5G on these. So think you need to have an account and connect it through the app. Yes, that is exactly it. So that that's why it was it was not connecting because I wasn't logged into the account. I was just going in and trying to register the printer and there was no account to connect it to because I wasn't logged in. I didn't know that. Now I am. Now we're good. All good. Shouldn't take that long. Yeah, it's already at 17%. You know, we're not we're not on crystal speeds. <laughs> yeah, like you guys you guys definitely need to look, to look into that, though. No, I'm not joking. I, I can't even... Uh, I, I'm astounded that you guys... You can even have um, any type of video conferencing at all with that type of connection in there. I'm just... I'm, I'm flabbergasted by it. So... How about printing a bin sheet with resin while waiting? Um... Well, I just kind of set up all the printers, so they don't, I don't really have resin in them right now. And the one that does, it's currently printing, so I can't, sorry. I mean, I guess I could set it all up, it's, it's a pain. Because then I have to slice the file and everything, and why would I print a Benchy in resin? That's, it's literally pointless. But I've definitely printed one, for sure. <laughs> I won't go camping unless I have 500 pounds. Um, no 5G internet allowed on it. That's weird because I have 5G on my Google and it recognized it and it connected. At least I'm pretty sure it's on the 5G. Um, you know what? No, it is dual band. So it might have connected on the 2.4. I don't know. Rubbing it is cheap. It's a cheap motel with a dial up internet connection and a basic cable. Yeah, exactly. Forty-four percent updating. All right, so 
what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of go through here and see if I can change my name. There we go. Okay, so now that's all set up. Except. That is cool that you can just go directly to the shop and start shopping. Actually, that's not cool. That's bad. <laughs> so, Remurf, yep. Yeah, up uploads always worse, but I mean, but still, the fact that I, I just, I don't know how, how she even had a live stream going, let alone had multiple people live streaming without, without like literally being like, ah. <laughs> like, I don't know how that worked. What's up, Big Mike's? How's it going, man? Uh, morning, mates. Uh, been a while. How are you? I'm doing good, James. You have a bamboo printer. Yes, we are unboxing it. Well, we unboxed it right now. We're setting it all up. So now it's been updated to the latest firmware. We're all good on that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's try this again, shall we? So you said that they were under the temperatures. There's filament. On there. Okay. You know what I just realized? This is literally the same. <laughs> Creality literally copied the UI from this. It's a little bit dumbed down, but it is the same type of UI. It is the exact same setup, actually. So on the K1, it's the home. You have all your printing information of what you're printing right now. Then you have the machine settings. So this is exactly like it. And then you have the folders exactly like it with all the tabs. They literally copy the entire thing. I just realized that. Kuma Mats had $14,000 spent on a bamboo handy app with this kid using the phone. Yeah, no. Thankfully, I put specific things on there that have caps. So, like, I'll put the, um, I'll put my personal card on there, and that has a cap of like fifteen hundred. So, if something happens, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. But yeah, this is this. They literally copied the same thing. It's hysterical. Um, all right, let's try the Benji again. Um, so now it's uh, printing now. Okay, so you said that there was the print speed underneath that, which I don't see. Is this the speed? No. Wait, maybe that is. Damn it. So where, where do you get the speed settings? Did you calibrate again? Yes, I did. So how do you change it from like ludicrous mode and stuff like that? Because I have a feeling it's it's on ludicrous mode and I absolutely don't need that. That is absolutely insane. After you start a print. So I started to print, but it's not printing right now. So I have my extruder, I have my hotbed, and I have AMS, I'm guessing? So wait, does the AMS actually have a sensor in it for temps? That's kind of nifty. So right now it's just going through the calibrations. Okay, well, 
If it has an issue again, I'm going to swap filaments and see if that helps. Um, I have a brand new spool of uh, some Amazon Basics right here. That stuff should be good. This is PLA. Yeah. If not, I have I, I have some fancy protopods that I can put in there too. Benchy is fine tuned already. Okay. I wish I could prop you up a little bit more so you guys can see. What can I use? What can I use? Oh, I got filament. All right. We're going to take you guys. And put you... Oh, God. Oh, God. I lost him. We're all dead. We're all dead. Ah! Sorry. So it's in standard mode. I'll just run it in silent to trigger people all day. <laughs> Sadly, you can only add one printer to your stream. No, you can you can use uh, OBS through TikTok Studio, I think. As a virtual camera, you should be able to utilize as many cameras as you want. I got you, thank you, Gemini. We all good. Crystal, you said you guys swapped the beds, right? On yours when you were having issues. Are you guys still having issues with yours? If you're still here, you She is no longer present. Just wondering. I, I really, I don't care. Um, I'm a click and print type person, so I don't want to do what it needs to do. I don't, I don't care about that. No. Like the weird thing is, so that's throwing me off. Is it calibrated for the the 
flow rate. So it looks good. But it just didn't print right. So we might have to uh, we might have to check the bed. looking decent. I mean, that's basically what it looked like last time. So I think uh, regardless, we're, we're probably going to end the stream at about 12 o'clock here in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. There it goes. Order there. Everything's looking good. Nope. Still bundling up. All right. All right. You've had issues with the sample spools. Yeah, so that's that's my next thing is to take it out. So um, we're going to Print was canceled, first layer protection. That's cool that you can send reports to it because it, it can tell the company like, hey, this is, this is what's going on with this machine. And they can fix it per machine, which is really, really cool, really nifty. So I think I know why it does the, the hotter temperatures to allow a cleaner pull from the hot end. Because um, if you if you pull it at a lower temperature, like a standard temp, it's um, it'll blob up and, and cause a issue with pipe. Not enough, I really don't. So let's go. Um, oh, I have the blue right there. Really is it a bamboo PLA? Yes, it is. This is a test. LA from bamboo. So what, should I do something else other than a bench then? Just to try to reapply the glue. Shouldn't really have to, but we'll do it just in case.
I like this more. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> we're, we can't print with this full. It's too heavy. Grab one of the other bamboo new spools. I think, oh, you know what? I got an Arian. Or two. That's great. I have some of this older filament. Your rubs on the front guy. Yeah, those. What about the UW2? Is it a bamboo PLA? Uh, is the scraper fill filer in there? Try that. Yes, there is. What are you doing? Okay. Try yeah, that's great. let's go let's go for the mini tray. That's great. Print that. Is the UW02 a wash and cure? Yes, it, it is, uh, but it's not, the wash part of it is not the greatest, so. So just FYI, uh, you want to go with a any cubic wash and cure station if you are going to go with anything. We're gonna try a different vial weapon stats. Um, a little more, uh, a little wider. I am trying Arion, uh Silk. Silver. Yeah, it's a PLA gray. So
I don't know. Let's hope third time's the charm. What's up, Gary? How's it going, man? We are checking out the Bamboo Labs X1 carbon, and it's um, not going that great. <laughs> well, well, we'll play around with it. I, it's been a while since I had a printer that needed so much special calibration on it. So. 3MS, and they all sound different. Gotcha. No luck so far. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. You just accidentally cured some resin on your finger. You got to be careful with that. You will get third degree burns if you cured resin right on there. So, be very, very careful doing that. What's up, Endu? Yeah, we're not looking so hot right now. So. Two failures, two Benji failures right now with the, uh, the test filament. So I threw on some Arion, uh, like silk gray. So we'll see. So, just watch Mo Loyal Moses unbox an X1C. Now you, really? Didn't even know that. Just a tiny bit, I didn't even know it was there. Okay, just be careful. Show me the failures. Uh, I know this, this camera is horrible. To try a different test print right now. I'm um, doing the um, mini tray. Not exactly sure whether if this goes in something or or what, but um, yeah. Hopefully, third time's a charm. If not, I'm gonna cut the stream and then I'm just gonna play with it. Um, maybe I'll jump on somebody else's stream if they're still alive. But, uh, yeah. I also have to uh, I have to chat with a bunch of people so all I was failed to try the texture bed if that doesn't work all day yeah that was my next step so so it's very strange because it prints the calibration stuff beautifully and it it's possible it is that filament because that never really was a big fan of like that green style filament. It always seems to be problematic, but um, I don't know. We'll see. And I'm not really expecting anything fancy from this filament because it's been sitting in its box for probably three months now, whenever they sent it to me. I don't know. Uh, is it warped? I did not check that, so we will... Uh, we will check that um, if this one fails as well. So. Don't use Yusu in it. That's strange because Yusu is usually pretty good for me. So. Right, exactly. There's still a lot of filaments. I don't care what silicon desiccant you put in there. It's still a lot. All right, get rid of 
go. Let's see how she looks. Going down good. We're looking good. What is this printing right now? I mean, I know it's a box, but how is it printing that? Mine was super brittle on the last bamboo I had. Yeah, so it, it's probably that. It looked, it looked like it was that. So, bump it to sport. Oh boy. I want it to actually print, and then we'll mess it up. Going down good. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfecto. Screw it. Let's see. Yeah, so what was it? It was uh it was this, it was the settings, it was this. <laughs> Definitely did not like me doing that. It left a nice little blob right there as soon as I changed it. I mean, it's fine. It's not terrible, but <laughs> should we do ludicrous? Go big or go home? <laughs> Let's go. amazes me of that right there is the fact that I switched it from standard to sport to ludicrous and it literally did not change the filaments um, like look I'm testing it out right now. It's in ludicrous. And it's it's going down good. Look at it. So you see you see the little bumps there. That's from when I, I jumped it up. So we'll probably just stop this. Now that I know that it's at least printing, I can go ahead and get it all situated. But uh, it is printing, so working. That just goes to show you how 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 much a filament can be a major disaster, and it's just a simple fix. But hey, wait till the first layer. Yeah, we're we're gonna bump it back down to standard because I don't I don't need to print that ridiculously fast. That's insane. Going to get so much faster. Oh boy. We might have an issue when I uh, when I bump that up that um, that part. Well, like you said, third time's a charm. There you go. But at least it's printing the first layer, so I'm happy about that. Got the ludicrous after the first layer right now. It's probably probably running at twenty percent speed. Yeah. Hey Cass, I was just gonna jump in after this. I was I was just gonna head out, but I guess I could leave TikTok running. 
so we'll probably end a normal live stream and just hang out on uh, TikTok here. Is it me or is the stream down everywhere else? I don't know. Probably is. Probably just you. What was the highest speed? 600 millimeters? You know what? I don't know if it tells you. It just tells you percentage. It doesn't really tell you like speeds on here. So it's printing two of these things? Whatever they are? Oh, you know what? It's printing the lid and it's printing the base. That's what it is. Welcome to the club. I don't know if that's a good thing. We'll see. So here's a question for those who do have a bamboo lid. Do you guys buy other filaments or do you buy bamboo specific? Print the scape scraper next. So instead of using this thing, then I'll probably trigger about a thousand people. So all the filaments. Welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. Oh, I ate all my cookies. But I would like to do a print off on this. I would love to do that. Never buy bamboo. I just got, yeah, I mean it. Bamboo is basically the same as Polymaker. It's the same stuff. Yes, I know I'm going to trigger a lot of people who say that, but uh, it's the unfortunate downside of me is I do a lot of digging <laughs> and I find out a lot of things that uh, people don't like me knowing. So. so we're waiting for the first layer. So it's, it's printing the top and the bottom of this. So essentially, it's it's a storage container, it looks like. The dark side lies, they're thin ones. So you caved in and got a bamboo, I did. It's something that's been kind of on my mind for quite some time. The wife's been kind of poking and prodding at me for a little bit to get one. Um, she wanted to do an all-out system, like get the AMS, or get the Bamboo Labs, get all the AMS to allow 16 colors and just have a, a one-and-done type thing. And I'm like, yeah, we can do that, but is it really necessary? I don't think so. So I bought a combo, and I bought an extra AMS. So, yeah, and on top of it, it was pure pressure. Everybody else had it, so why not? I just wanted to be like the cool kids. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. So the cool kids. Eight. eight colors is enough. Yes, I agree. They're great machines, but they aren't uh, what they are. There, said it. there, I said it. I'm going to start eight color prints soon. Awesome. Bamboo royalty. You should do. Should do a sticker, so like, you know how my wife made the um, the crown on my logo for the 3D printing princess? Do the bamboo logo with crown on it, and and do like uh, the points of the crown, different colors. I think we were discussing this last night. I will stay and be a peasant. You will conform to the dark side. It's your bamboo printing god, Akumamatsu. I should do that. That would trigger a lot of people. I know it would. I mean, I already trigger enough people with the resin printing god thing. And I'm going to trigger it even more with everything that's going on. So there's there's some stuff in the pipeline. Just wait. It'll be good. Can't wait. Do it. I'm already triggered. The printer was triggered too. It was just like... Eh. Ah, oh, come on, just finish this. 
Why does this got to be so slow? I hate filament. Just dub more gods and goddesses. I've already done that. Wait, so what's printing? It's printing the um, the tray or mini tray. I don't even know what it is. Nice machine, mister. What's up, Bright Tech? How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, I just got it uh, Sunday. No, Monday. Sorry. Got a Monday. I like the light. I like the light, too. We would have already printed 50 millimeter on the Nexus Zip. Yeah, I I can literally print, um, yeah, I, th I think 50 millimeters in 13 minutes on a Nexus Zip. Now, granted, that's a $6,000 machine compared to a $1,500 machine, but who's counting? Man, if this doesn't work out, you can always send it to me. You have my address. So I actually have some printers that I got to unbox and I got to sell. So I have I have a brand new Palette Sky in the box that I'm going to sell for cheap. Um, it's um, it's already like in an Amazon box ready to rock and roll. It's, it's brand new. Um, and uh, I might have another printer like that, but we'll see. Any FDM printers? So I do have an FDM printer, but uh, Deadly's got first catch on it. That thing scares the shit out of me every time because I'm like, something's breaking. I'm not used to it. What is it doing? Is it checking the first layer? Is that what it's doing? Yeah, it is. Inspecting the first layer, please wait a moment. It's gonna trigger all over that one spot, I know it is. When I when I did the ludicrous mode. So does it do that every time where it inspects it? I have a bill plate for the helmet on the way. Awesome. Um, it's inspecting the first layer, yeah. Okay. Just resume, it's not bad. Yep. I know I'm late, but you did add glue for the first print. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, no, I did. Um, if you use textured, you don't have to do that. Yeah, so I have the texture plate as well. I'm looking into a second larger resin printer. Well, I'll, I'll have the Hallett, uh Sky. It is a very expensive printer, but I think I can probably let it go for like 350 shipped. Um, it is a brand new printer, though. It will, but you can skip it. Yes. Turn. You can turn it off when you slice. All right, cool. Uh, when I got mine and it calibrated the first time, it vibrated so loud I thought it broke. The thing that scares me is the the little like ticker thing in the back. It hits that and it sounds like something breaks loose, and I'm like, Oh no, I broke it. Oh, it didn't trigger anything. Okay, so I think it's good. Bob it. All right. I did my first ludicrous print today. Oh boy. You can force resume. All right, cool. But if you do texture, no liner. Yes, that's the downside. Dibs on the hallet. He added glue to the center of the build plate, but then started a large print. No, I added it all over at the beginning. If you didn't see. Now the speed. Holy shit. Now it's still going down good. Wow. That is that is perfect. Good lord. Like my any cubic viper was good, but this one is wow. Just a slight better. I'm I'm glad that I traded off one. More speed, you want me to you want me to bump it up? Hold on to your butts. Sport mode.
Jacko Passer. Gouda. Break your neck. <laughs> spinal tap. Spinal. All right, it's not ludicrous. Oh, my God. Now I do see a change. <laughs> so it, it kind of messed up because that part, that part is messed up right there. But if you look, you can see the change in color of the filament. Maybe you might be no, you're not even able to see it. But you can see the change in the, the color of the filament. It's a lighter gray now instead of a darker. The other part will print better because I wasn't messing around with the speeds on that. So fast. It is fast. You want to see some real speed? <laughs> uh, what do you think about the 12K AnyCubic? Do you expect even smaller pixels? Um, so the great thing about the 12K resin printers that are out there is the fact that they claim they are fast. Well, they are. So what they're able to do is they are able to trade off a higher layer height while not sacrificing any detail because it has such a low resolution. So it's kind of a cool trade off, but it's... They don't really tell anybody that, so it's pre-sliced and you're using non-bamboo filament, so it's not a perfect test. Yeah, no, but it's good. At least it's working. That's all I'm concerned about. I don't care about anything else. So if I wanted to, I have I have black and red filament from bamboo that I bought, and that apparently I don't know if I bought it or they threw it in. I doubt they threw it in, uh, but apparently there's support material as well. So. All right, so let's see how this one does, because this one's this one's much better. It doesn't have the bump on it from when I was messing with things. It's very slow on the lines. I would like to see the dimensional accuracy between the modes, though. That would be interesting. Holy shit. That's impressive. What's up, Ashley? What's the time estimated on the main screen? Let's see here. Uh, it's 10%. It's uh, two hours and nine minutes. We're just going to leave it on ludicrous here. Is it working now? I had to sleep, step away for a bit. Yeah. Uh, so it was the filament. The filament was giving us issues. It's definitely not a clean print, <laughs> for sure. And I'm not really expecting anything to be nice from a ludicrous mode, but damn, damn. All right, let's, uh, let's get you guys over here to, to show it. Let's clean this off. It's just running away. As you can see, I messed with that one and the speed setting, so it kind of ripped into it. But uh, this one's perfect, and it's looking pretty good for what it is. It's doing good. It's doing real good. You love the Orca Slicer? I've been hearing a lot about that, but I couldn't install it. I'm not. I'm a noob when it comes to. Um, uh what's uh github stuff so i might i might need to look into that a little bit more um but yes welcome to the bamboo club wow that is whoo jesus christ all right now there's some real speed going on there Wow. 
You know, I see somebody's live stream that always has stuff in the bottom here. Bamboo says no objects belonging here. That's wrong. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> looking good. Yes, looking very good. Uh, what a bus, what a bus. What's up, thank you, Bobbers? How's it going? Me too, Akuma, me too. I don't even know if that was too. Um, 16 minutes after calibration, ain't that the truth? Like that. Uh, close the door, dude. It's, uh, it's shrapnel, if anything, flies out at you. It's a perfect spot for Emo to hang out. Yep. Actually, I have, I have the perfect thing to put in there. This, this little tiny thing. So I'll show you guys exactly what it is. So I guess I can't really take it out because I'd have to put it all together, but it is insanely fast. So I'm going to try not to touch this. Breezy fingers. But essentially, what this does is it'll put the prints that's on the LCD screen on this and show it to you right there. It's a little tiny, like hexagonal cube. It's really, really cool. It's so cool. I have to program it and everything, so. Just needs to be unzipped to a folder. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll take a look at that. Thank you, James. Do we just let it run? Should we let it go? Screw it. Screw it. We're going to let it go. You know, for as fast as that thing's going, that's not terribly bad. Like, I'm sitting literally right next to it, like, within a foot of it. And it's going, but it's not super loud. I expected it to be much louder. Now, I know with, like, the PEI sheet and everything, it's supposed to be louder. So, but, yeah, it cuts it way down. What am I printing? I'm printing a uh, mini tray. It's a test print. So, yeah, we're just going to let it roll. But, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised at how, uh, how well that cuts that down. So, let's... Uh, Where are you at? You're on Facebook. Uh, the Book of Faces. Look, now I can be like everybody and just do ridiculous prints on TikTok. Manual of ASA on that bad boy. It prints so buttery smooth. I almost don't want to print anything else. Some Same with PETG. So that was one of the, the things that I... I basically wanted to buy a printer like this. I wanted something that was able to do all in one and just print. No questions asked, just do it. Nothing having to do with anything. Um, so if I can print ABS, I can print PETG, I can print carbon fiber, I can print nylon, all that stuff. If I can print that, I'm done. Uh, that's all I need. I didn't be worth every penny. Because I already have uh, at least four people asking for jobs for ABS and nylon and um, another two people that are asking for PETG stuff. Which PETG is fine. That's that's easily printable. Like that's if you tell me, oh man, I'm having such a you know, PETG such a terrible thing to print with, I I've never had an issue with it. Uh, it prints just as easy as PLA. So I have a cute little egg file that you should print on the bamboo. So speaking of that, I'm, I don't know if Crystal's here or not. If she crashed back in here. Um, 
but one of the prints that I want to see if she still has it is her ramen bowl. Because there's a ramen place in Oak Park here that I really, really like. And it's got a very Japanese feel to it. And I'd like to make that ramen bowl and just give it to them and set it on the counter and, and kind of like max out the bill plate for it. I think that would be cool. TPU, yeah. I've been printing with TPU in a while. And of course, the one thing that I did print, something phallic, because why Why not? Why, why not? Why would anybody ask for anything else? So, I can't sleep, join club, but that's why you're here. Yeah, the front door is pretty good at reducing the sounds. That is ridiculous. Look at that infill speed, dude. Okay, it's getting out of hand now. It's not like a ludicrous. All right, we gotta stop it. We gotta stop it. It's not like a ludicrous. <laughs> it's not digging the ludicrous at all. It knows. Look at it stopping. It's like, no, this this doesn't seem right. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to stop that. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna bring it back down to standard. It's uh, <laughs> it's gonna get stopped. Yeah, no, no bueno. What was that speed? I don't know. Uh, it was ludicrous speed, so I don't know what the hell it is. You need, yeah, I know. Boop 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 boop. Um, I'm happy to see that it's doing a great job. Yeah, up until the infill happened and then Ludacris was like, yeah, we're just gonna kind of do it. Uh, the hot end is 30 seconds to one minute change. You should try wood and glow in the dark on it with a new hot end switch. Awesome. I'll definitely look into that. Just got a roll of PETG, never printed with it before. Uh, was going to give it a try this weekend. There you go. Perfect. It's a fast print, yes. Uh, that is not meant to be that fast, though. <laughs> <coughs> Load your red and black and do the scraper in a Kuma Bots color. We could do that. Let's do that. Um, so we're going to. Wasn't first layer. Wasn't spaghetti. So we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do any of that. So um, all right. So with that being said, I did put some glue on it, but I didn't put it all on where it was. So this is gonna be fun removing this. So it was doing pretty good up until the end fell. It didn't. Uh, it didn't really like ludicrous mode. Just leave the gray though. So like load it up in two and three. Uh, came up. No, no glue. But look at that. Look at that friggin' first layer, dude. This is amazing. It's so cool. Look at that. Like, minus the, the glue on it, the sheen on that is just perfect. So with that being said, though, isn't isn't that print set up to be um, number one and number two, or can we switch it to to go off of two and three? Select the slot, sorry. 
No, I'm not on PEI sheet. I'm on the, the PLA sheet. This is, I guess, their their new one. They switched it. Um, but yeah, I I do have a PL PEI sheet. Graper makes those purge lines pop off in one slide. Oh, okay. The uh, gotcha. The input shaping lines. So we'll loop a doob. I was wrong. I thought they did have the side things to line it up, but no, they don't. It was all lies. Uh, let's see. You guys use glue on the PEI sheet? No, you're not supposed to. You shouldn't have to. Switch to their liquid glue, and it helps with getting less glue stuck to the bottom of the print. Well, I mean, you can always wash that off. That's not the end of the world. So, uh, the hot end is a 30-second minute. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to at least end the live stream on, um, YouTube and everybody else. I'll, I'll leave TikTok here running if you guys want to stick around for a little while. So if anybody is on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you guys want to hop on TikTok, we're still going to be live streaming from there. So, um, but I thank you guys all for, uh, sticking around and watching at least a first semi-successful print, uh, definitely ludicrous mode, be very careful with it, uh, but at least it works. So if you're not having infill on something, like if you're doing base mode, let's ludicrous it up. Maybe we'll do that, we'll do a base mode. And we'll do a comparison between this and the B400. It'd be very interesting to see. So uh, what's up, Craig, how's it going? Yeah, sorry, you're kind of kind of late to the stream here, but but uh, yeah, we're we're checking out the, uh, the X1 carbon here, and uh, I'm just letting everybody go. But we will be on uh, TikTok, so um, support is my standard. It's what I hear from a lot of people is that they usually use support. So, um, but yeah, if if you want to jump on TikTok, uh, I'm on I'm on TikTok right now. We're going to be live streaming the rest of this. So, but I thank you all. I thank you for stopping in. And, uh, you know, try to at least comment a little bit. Um, we'll do this again because I, uh, I have to unbox the, the mini AKS soon. So uh, maybe we'll do that this weekend if I have a free time and uh, get that up and running. So we're actually printing with the, the mini 8K right now. We're printing some stuff. So, but yeah. I thank you guys all for watching, and uh, again, if you guys want to still hang out and chat, we're going to be on uh, TikTok for the rest of the night. So, until next time, guys, happy printing.